All right, so here with another student from WFA. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? <laughs> oh, hi. Thanks. Uh, well, thanks for having me. So my name is Caroline Shadrach, and um, I've been working mostly with coaches and uh, consultants for the last few years. Uh, and I build funnels for them. I do all sorts of lead generation and messaging for them. That's awesome. Awesome. So tell, tell me a bit about how you ended up coming across uh, the work from anywhere accelerator and even Christian considering mm. you already have a background in funnels and everything. So how, how did that, uh, how did that interaction happen? <clears throat> That's a good question. And to tell you the truth, I'm not exactly sure how it happened in the first place because I looked back because basically what happened actually someone introduced Christian or I don't know, somehow Christian reached out to me actually about funnels, about mm -hmm. building funnels. And so we had a conversation before I actually joined the program, but I knew that I'd heard of him before and I want to say it was years ago, but I looked back at my emails and yeah, I'm, I'm on this list for about a year, right? So I'd, sure. I'd seen his whole thing about the um, digital nomad and I really liked the messaging in terms of being able to work from anywhere. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, anyway, so after um, I, I had that conversation with him, then I started to get his emails again and actually started opening the emails. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and it sounded really cool. And so because I've been, as I said, been doing these funnels for a long time, I like the way that he kind of put the whole thing together in terms of being able to kind of really leverage it, which is what I hadn't been doing. And that's what I knew I wanted to do. So, but I think also I really like the way that he have kind of positions himself in terms of how he talks about um, it being able to give you a lot more freedom in, you know, work, life, the whole thing. So, yeah. Makes sense. That's awesome. Um, definitely kind of the exact same way that I, I met Christian. Actually, it's oh, really? the exact same story. No <laughs> idea how we got connected, but some way or another, <laughs> we had that right. conversation. Right. That's, that's where it went off. That's awesome. So uh, what were some of the first things that you did when you joined? Because I, mm. I mean, we do go through kind of like a pretty heavy intro for the folks that don't know what funnels are. Mm. You were kind of already ingrained in that space. So what did, what did your initial journey through the program look like? Well, actually, I, I really kind of appreciated the way that, that um, you guys have set the program up because I think with the first module that I went through, it's literally all mainly about mindset and about setting yourself up so that you can win. And so, as I said, because I've been doing this a long time, so it's the same if you, like I know that the most of the time what stops people from progressing or making any, um, any kind of progress or headway is what's in between the head right? what's between the ears mm -hmm. it's all about the mindset it's literally like 80 percent mindset and 20 percent strategy and so however knowing that and actually being able to do something about it, it's completely different and so what i thought was really great about the program what i did go through is like in that first module he not only talks about that about what to expect but gives you lots of different techniques to kind of overcome it and that i thought was just amazing because I've done lots of cool. I mean, I've literally spent hundreds and thousands of dollars on various different courses and masterminds and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And most people will tell you what to expect and they might give you one tactic to kind of overcome this. What Christian does is actually kind of attack it from various different places. So however you learn, if you're, you know, if you, you rely on thing on, on listening or, or reminders or community or whatever it is, he kind of gives you all these various different tactics that you can use to really kind of keep on track. And I thought that was amazing. So that's what I'd kind of dived into first. And then, um, I think just kind of following your instructions, I kind of immediately went out and put out, uh, actually, no, I wouldn't say that. I didn't immediately put this out. I waited four days before I put a post out <laughs> saying, um, hey, I'm going for this course. It's basically, I think you guys call it the curious student approach, right? I'm going for this thing. I'm looking for some trial clients. And I think, I don't know, that was the procrastination that I had. One of the reasons I you know, waited for four days before putting it out. And um, I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. Uh, and it works like amazingly well, particularly actually what happened was I put it in a couple of um, private groups that I belong to, mm -hmm. master paid mastermind groups. And, uh, and I think it works particularly well if you have those kind of connections with people because they, there's a immediate, there's already a trust there. There's a trust 100%. factor that, you know, and so uh, there were a lot of people that approached me, in fact, I want to say it was like 20 people that I, I did various different strategy sessions. That's with. awesome. Um, but the thing is, and I think I said this in the group, was that I, I also knew one of the reasons I, I wanted to take this program is because I knew I wanted to try to approach a different, uh, a different niche, right? Mm -hmm. So I've been working with co coaches and stuff and I know them very kind of well, but I, part of me wants to kind of go into something like 
plumbing I probably won't do this but <laughs> something that's really kind of easy that I don't really have to think about it all you need to do is kind mm-hmm. of really get to, to grips with okay this is the market this is what all those all anyone who uses a plumber is going to need this type of uh, have this type of problem and this type of solution and so you can go out and find lots of plumbers and they all need the same thing with coaches it's completely different they all have a different story and so and it, it's not that it's a great market. I think you said this too, right? It's just, it's different. Like you have to kind of get into exactly. the story and, and, and help them to kind of do the messaging, which is what I do. But, and so, uh, so yeah, finding the trial clients was the, the next step that I did. That was, you know, I found a lot of them. I think I have um, four trial clients that I'm working through with right now. And, nice. uh, and, and, and I think it, none of it turned out how I thought it was going to be. Um, like these, the people that turned up weren't the people that I expected to talk to. Um, mm. But basically I decided, okay, I'm just going to go through this, do keep doing the steps and see what emerges. Makes sense. That was a long answer to a short question. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> so what, uh, like what type of markets are your trial clients in right now? So, yeah, so it's interesting. So I have uh, one of my, um, one of the trial clients I'm working with is, so she is a coach, but she works more in the, what, what do you, it's called, uh, alternative yoga field so she has okay. she basically runs events every month that she holds and it's like meditative yoga yoga as opposed to mm. you know your bog standard yoga um so that's one of the clients that i'm working with another one um he he works also more on the kind of holistic spe- spectrum and he 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 doesn't have events but he actually wants to get people into his his, his courses and programs okay. so um those are the two that, and then there's another, there's another one who has a, something completely different actually, but they're all, the common denominator between them is that they're, they're coaches. And yeah. as you can tell, like each of them have their story. And so it's like a different thing kind of going through that messaging. So I basically, um, in addition to what I'm doing with the trial clients right now, is also going through the 14 day challenge that you guys have, mm-hmm. which again, I think is like, it's, it's, it's brilliant the way that you guys have set it up because it really allows you to, to take the steps to get into a different market. And that's what I want to do. So, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. That's awesome. So, uh, I mean, obviously working with coaches is a complex thing mm. that gets, that gets hard because every single one is totally different. So with the, with the support and training and everything in the work from anywhere accelerator, how have you found that, that support level in helping you get through working with those folks? Uh, yeah, the support is amazing. I mean, every day I, I keep thinking, I mean, I should put a post out there because, like, this is like, like as I've spent a lot of money on different coaches and masterminds and stuff, and this is one of the best courses in terms of the way it's laid out and the type of um, support that you get. Because, like, I think I said to you just last week, I didn't even realize that you have these Q and A's that happen every week mm-hmm. where people can. It's not just recording; like, you can literally go on there and get your questions answered, and. And even without that, it was like, I thought it was amazing because, you know, just you guys are in the Facebook group and you can answer questions and, and you come in, Christian comes in and answers questions. And then just the community themselves are very kind of supportive as well. So I, I found that to be really helpful. Um, and, you know, what I found is kind of going through the course, but I think one of the things that I would like one of the requests that I would like to put it's like if that because what happens is like so I had all of these trial clients and then I thought oh my god what now now what and there is actually a now what do you do the first step but I needed all the other steps past that too like if there was like a layout okay this is you've got your trial client this is what you do in the fast track and then there's another track of this is how you kind of keep going through the process step by step um so yeah that would be great to have but but that's how I've been using it and I, I think I keep coming across things like uh here's your here's your onboarding um map and like i didn't know that was there i was like oh but i found that after the fact or something. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so there's lots of stuff in there and actually it's it's not i've been in some courses where it's stuffed full of things and you can't actually find anything at all it's not that um but at the same time there are lots of things in there and and uh, sometimes you discover them and that you don't even realize that they're there. <laughs> yeah. Different. I mean, definitely some of those, like the, you know, you have your trial client now, what, I mean, that was, that was there just created out of all our students were like, Hey, you know, everybody's like, right. Hey, you know, I got a trial client. Now what do I do? <laughs> and we kept answering the same question. Like, well, 
let's just ask it as a question and rephrase it and then create a video. And that just, you know, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. It's all the need. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and I think there's lot, there's lots of things in, in there, which are like that as well, that you can tell that they kind of create it because you guys are listening. And that's mm-hmm. the other thing as well that I found amazing too, because, um, you know, a lot of people kind of create courses, they create the course, they might run a, a, like a weekly Q and a, but then they don't really do anything to the course. The course is kind of left there, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but this way, it's like, it's organic. It's literally growing. I mean, I'm, I'm going in there and saying, wait, I saw that post. I'm watching a video. I'm saying, wait, I saw that post like two days ago. And it's like, you literally are kind of updating things as you go, yeah. which is, is amazing. Yeah. I mean, definitely in this, uh, with Facebook making all the changes, they are as much as I hate all the UI changes because it mm. means we have to update everything. It, uh, I mean, it just, it gives us, ability to just go in there and be like great so let's make sure this is the most cutting edge thing yeah um, it's always important for us for yeah. sure yeah i mean it's really important i mean i've literally had clients who there was a client that i had last year he walked away from um i think he went to grant cardone's uh, event mm-hmm. and he bought like one of one of the speakers had like a a it was a course on facebook ads in fact right by the yeah. time he left the event the stuff that was in the course was already not available to them in terms of like the search terms <laughs> because it was through that going through that whole uh, uh you know that whole um scandal that they had and so they yeah. took away a lot of the stuff that he's talking about it's like oh my god you know so yeah it's really important like if you're going to do this type of work to know that you have like the support on the community that is live and that can help you with the updates that come, happen all the time yeah 100 percent um yeah we definitely went through that with the special ad category that was, uh, it was supposed to be imminent right. and then all of a sudden they just implemented it and started banning accounts, not having it. So that was, yeah, that was a big one for us, making sure we actually put that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, but that makes sense. Um, so obviously you've had some pretty good successes, all things, I mean, 20 trial clients <laughs> having strategy sessions and dialing into the four that you're working with. Um, so tell us a bit about, you know, some of the wins you've had since you've joined the program. Hmm. That's a good, that's a good question. Um, I, I, you know, I think that one of the things that you guys talk about is that you have to, you have to appreciate all the small wins. And I think most of the time that isn't what, what I do. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, in fact, I think someone, I was posting something the other day and someone said in, on the, in the community group, like, Oh my God, you know, like you've got it all sorted out. You know exactly what you're doing. Next thing you're going to be in your own course. And I'm thinking, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I, you know, it's, I think that for, for me and this, you know, everyone's different, but for me, I think that wherever you are, it always feels like there should be more. And that's one of the things that I had to kind of slow down and think, okay, you're, actually, you're, you're doing okay. You're doing good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, so right now working with, with these, these trial clients, um, I think, you know, I've just find, finding that there's, that I know more than I kind of give myself credit for. And uh, at the same time, I think that, you know, that when I kind of start things new, I kind of approach it from that place of uh, being a new new student, not wanting to, not saying, okay, I know this already. You know what I mean? Because then that kind of leaves you close to what other possibilities are. And so that's the way that I really kind of approach that. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I mean, as as entrepreneurs, we're kind of ingrained to always think of the big, big wins, big pictures, everything like that. Meanwhile, I mean, all those small wins of getting someone to say yes. I mean, it's just a tiny, tiny win comparative to everything else that most folks are working on and what you're working on. But that's still a win, right? I mean, it's nice exactly. to have. But as an entrepreneur, we're kind of taught to be like, okay, we'll just gloss over that. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's all right. But it's a small thing in the grand scheme. Right. Because you're always kind of reaching for that next thing. But I mean, but the truth exactly. is all those kind of little things do make the difference. And actually, there is one, one thing that... Um, it was a win for me at least anyway, <laughs> because what I'm, one of the things that I found in the program is that uh, like I've done a lot of work with clients and just myself in terms of building your avatar, you know, you really need to understand who they are, what their, you know, the pains are and the, the language that they have, the questions that they have going on in their head, all that kind of stuff. And again, right, it's one thing to kind of know it. It's a different thing to actually know, okay, how do you actually find this information? And um, yeah. one of the things that you guys have in the program is that you really, the way that Christian broke it down in terms of, um, finding that information and actually even using those Facebook groups to kind of look for that information was something which I think I actually knew in theory but he kind of I think he he did he showed you how to do it and 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 then it clicked and I think that's a lot, lot of the things that's happening with us I'm going through this program there's things that I knew already but 
the way I don't know maybe it's me that I'm ready or the way that you guys explain it but there's more things kind of clicking and so he was showing how you can go into groups and you know find out what are the questions that people are asking what are the problems that they're having and for some reason like I, I never really kind of thought it before but now I can see it clearly like you can literally go in there find the questions and then that becomes your copy you know like you literally just change it a little bit and then and that literally is the language this is what people are asking and it's and it's brilliant it's because now it, it allows me to kind of go into different markets without knowing much about them but really kind of getting to understand it and uh, and then literally using the language of a market that i don't know anything about <laughs> within the ads within your copy within your landing pages and so forth and really kind of resonating with them so it's amazing 100 percent. yeah i mean we we use that exact methodology for all the ads we create and everything as well uh, it just works really really well yeah, but uh, that's that's awesome. So, I guess uh, I mean, so what, what's what's your best piece of advice for someone who hasn't yet gone through the process, hasn't kind of nailed down this is what I want to work on, or these are the folks I want to work with, like someone who's just kind of getting started. Mm. And I I kind of ask that hesitantly because I know that's going to be a hard question since you're already in the funnel arena you were before you joined <laughs> right, right. but um for someone who might be new to it and maybe was in a position like mm. where you were at just before you joined what's the best piece of advice you could give them in order to take that next step and kind of get to where you are now i think the best piece of advice that i could give is actually just to take the steps and go through the process so like what i find is most people what most people do is they they just kind of stay up in the head and think about, oh my God, well, I could do that, you know, I could do real estate or I could do chiropractors, or, but, but only having maybe. And so you, you start having this, staying in this loop of questioning all the possibilities that you could do. But what you'll find is that once you actually kind of go through the steps of, of actually working with any particular market, you, it will emerge if you actually like working with them or not. You know, most of the people don't think about, okay, do I actually, is it going to be something that I like doing or enjoy doing? Because you you know you're just thinking about the bottom line. I just need to get the money. Right? You know? yep. But uh, yep. what will happen though is that if you literally have no interest in it at all, then what happens is you you probably just won't end up doing the work. You know what I mean? You have to have you have to have some. Actually, you need you need to know what your why is because you can actually overcome that if you if you have a bigger why, right? Mm -hmm. But so first of all, I guess the the step is that you need to know what your motivation is and really, really embrace that. Whatever it is, if, if your motivation is to help a particular field of people, then just go up, just do it. Right. Or if your motivation yeah. is really to kind of, um, to build that nest egg and, or, and help your family and do whatever it takes to get there, then do, you know, just always remember that and really kind of, um, have that as your thing that kind of keeps you, keeps you going. For me, it's actually more, more about the people that I help, which is why it's more important for me to, to take the steps and, and actually start to work with these people and, and discover mm. if that's going to work for me. But it might be different for different people. But either way, you don't know until you take some steps. And what I found is that most people will stay in this place of procrastination and, and or learning, right? Just le that's the other thing. I mean, that's one of the things that I've learned through my time being an entrepreneur is that there, most people... I don't know what percentage, but it's a pretty high percentage. Most people will spend all their time learning and never actually taking action because they think, well, I'm not, I don't, I'm not the expert here. Yeah. I, don't, I can't do this because I'm not, you know, I'm not qualified. And they'll, take, they'll do the whole course without actually taking steps. And I think you guys have actually built it into that you are taking steps as you go along. But I can still see in the group, like people saying, okay, well, I'm on step five now. And I, you know, I'm just going through this thing yeah. without actually taking the steps because, and what will happen is that you'll have to go through it again anyway, once you start working with people and you actually 100%. get a lot more information. If you go through the steps, take the actions step by step, stop, do the action, come back. What's the next step and, and go progress that way. You'll get like a lot more, um, it'll be a lot, a lot more effective for you doing it that way than just learning the process or just thinking about what you could do without actually taking any steps. hundred percent. And I mean, I, I, I think that that in itself takes so long to learn. And then once you're doing it, you're like, okay, pan over the head. Why wasn't I doing this all along? <laughs> exactly. But it's, yeah, that's a huge, huge one is just, I mean, getting out of your own head and taking action. It's 
massive. Yeah. I can't even, I don't even know how many hours upon hours and years it took me to just be like, okay, great. Let's just take action. Who cares? Who cares about yeah, I know. all these other things? <laughs> and it seems so simple. It seems so simple, but it, it's, and, and all of it, again, like it, all of that stuff is just in your head. Like even today when I, I think I was writing to you the email about like I was having some problems with the, I don't know, just some process, but there's so much more in my head and it's like, okay, I don't need to put this down. I just need to know what yeah. is the answer so I can get from A to B, just what is the next step. I don't need to know all the other stuff down the line right now. I just need to know what's the next step and let's just do that. Exactly. hundred percent. That's awesome. Um, it's awesome. So I appreciate you taking the time. If anybody wants to be able to get in touch with you, whether they want to work with you a coach mm-hmm. or a consultant or otherwise, um, what's the best way they can go ahead and do that? So the best way they can get in touch with me is if they go to my website, which is my, the, um, the name of my company, which is core story branding. So it's core story branding.com. And yeah, if they can go on there, there's, a, I think there's a contact form on there. They can literally just kind of email me or I think I also, they can actually schedule an appointment if they want to kind of talk with me and set up some time. So yeah, that's the best way. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, so I guess what, uh, what folks, would, what folks would you want to work with? So I guess like coaches and consultants, <laughs> if they want to, if they want to work with you on. Yeah. Yeah. Coaches and consultants. Um, so right now I'm actually focusing on a uh, chiropractors as well. And, um, which, and, and also med spas, like, um, I'm, I think I'm looking at, uh, uh, what's it cool sculpting. And so all of these are, are actually some of the, the services that people that I've worked with previously have offered as well, but I've never really kind of got into this other side. So, so it's, yeah, it's exciting. And one other thing that I'll say as well, because I know a lot, of, a lot of people worry that, okay, I'm not going to be able to find any trial clients. Like I, I can't do this. What I found is that people are really excited when you offer to do help them with Facebook ads, because whether they've tried them in the past or whether they've never even made that first step at all, everyone kind of knows the potential. Mm-hmm. And so you, know, you just need to get out there, put yourself out there and it will happen. hundred percent, hundred percent. They all, a lot of them, they just, I mean, they know it works. They just couldn't get it to work. And so they're, you know, they're super excited when they're like, Oh, someone's offering it. That might be, able, it might exactly. be able to work. That yeah. opportunity is huge. Absolutely yeah. huge. Yeah. So that's yeah, awesome. I appreciate huge. you taking the time. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Um, You're welcome. And your link uh, for your for your company, I'll, I'll make sure it's in the description below somewhere. And that way, if anybody wants to reach out to you and be able to work with you, that information is going to be down below. But otherwise, I appreciate you taking the time. It's been Thank absolutely you. phenomenal. Thanks, Jamal.